next here on Good Day Chicago on a Monday morning. Two of the people receiving Lumen Arts Awards. They're going to join us live right here in the Good Day Chicago studios to show out their skills with yeah. a Z. Yeah. <laughs> It's 9.23 on this Monday morning. Our city, as you know, is a great place for the arts, and a big reason for that is because of Lumen Arts Cultural Foundation at the Union League of Chicago. And now the group is getting ready to honor their latest batch of fellows for their artistry in music, writing, visual arts, and a whole lot more. So joining us right now in the Good Day Chicago studio, Jason Kalajanin, director of Lumen Arts, Alyssa Allgood, a 2016 fellow in jazz improvisation, and Jay Preston Witt, a 2016 fellow in creative writing. And of course, they're right behind us, right over here. You can see us. Thank you all for joining us. And this is Joel, our special guest right here on the, uh, the bass here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. <laughs> I used to play the cello, so that's not coming in. <laughs> Jason, let's start with you. Let's sure. talk about Lumen Arts Foundation and what they really mean in the city of Chicago and why so much Great. good comes out of it. Yeah, so the foundation was started about 65 years ago by members of the Union Lake Club. And really what we do now is support outstanding emerging young artists. And by artists, I mean creative writers, visual artists, jazz musicians, classical musicians, and dancers now in the city, greater city of Chicago and we really do that to make Chicago just a richer environment for us all to live. This so, has got to be a tough job because oh, there's so many talented people here and you're going to be highlighting a lot of them tomorrow night correct. at your big event. So we have an to event tomorrow night that will feature the 23 recipients um, who have become Lumen Arts Fellows in 2016. So it will be fantastic to celebrate their their skills, their you know their talents. Um, there were about a thousand applicants for those 23 positions. So How it's difficult is it then to go from a thousand to go down to like you said a couple dozen it's difficult it takes a lot of people we have you know the best writers the best musicians the best visual artists in the city helping us to really call through the applicants and determine who should be the recipients of the grants all right Jason I'm gonna bring Alyssa and Preston in on this conversation you can stand right there but talk to us a little bit Alyssa about what this means to like like Jason just said you're one of the top yeah tops absolutely. in the city after a thousand people tried to try to get this title you're one of them yeah it's a really great honor and I think um, beyond just a recognition but the validation of my art and the encouragement and the support from other people to say you know just keep developing what you're doing and keep working on that that's such an important message for any artist so and, and pressing you you knew you were good but now to get this kind of title this can this kind of uh, award and prestige what does this mean for you well the financial support is pretty amazing I got to spend a month alone in the woods writing yeah so that is priceless honestly but more than that you spend a lot of time alone writing and to have someone like Jason and the Lumen Arts Foundation knowing that they support and believe in your project, that is. Okay, so you're a fellow, 2016 fellow in creative writing. Why don't we step out of the way and see what okay. you got? So show yeah. us a little bit of your, your talents here before you uh, perform tomorrow night. Yeah, so a good story can make the familiar things about life strange again, and that's really important because uh, we don't you know, we usually take familiar things for granted. This is a story about a little boy who always looks on the world with fresh eyes. I used to make mud shoes out of sticks and mud. They were the most comfortable shoes until you went and tried to leave in them. They were standing and looking shoes, not walking shoes. I did it practically every day one summer. I remember the warm mud and the sticks and the worms curling between my toes. I remember feeling safe and happy. My toes and the earthworms, they were pals. One morning, my father decided if I was going to play in the mud all day, I should do something useful. So I was out planting trees along the back fence and making mud shoes every once in a while. After I'd been digging and planting for an hour or so, the shovel struck wood. It was not a root, but wood, an actual thing, a wooden plank-like thing. A treasure chest, I thought, a secret door. I dug fast and raced to find the dimensions. It grew larger the more I uncovered. I dug to the middle of the lawn a good 12 feet. And I didn't care about ruining the grass because with gold coins, it wouldn't matter. With rare jewels, we'd move to Disney World or Poland or Nashville near Shania Twain. If you want to hear the end of the story, you can go to the foundation's website, luminarts.org. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Preston, thank you. Now, Alyssa, you come on in. And since you're this year's 2016 uh, Jazz Improvisation, why don't you show us what you got? Thank you so much. And again, Jason, if people want more information about tickets or about the big events, the big show, yeah, please where can they go? Go to our website. It's www.luminarts.org or email us at info at luminarts.org. And it is tomorrow night. Thank you so much. Alyssa. One, two, three. Grab your head. Leave your worries on the doorstep. 
just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with my blues on parade, but I'm not afraid. This road crossed over if I never have a cent I'll be rich as Rockefeller gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street 